Tyler Stewart. I'm from Rio Grande, Ohio, and I'm a recent graduate from Ohio University. Uh, my name is Catherine Novak, and I'm from Champlin, Minnesota. I recently graduated from the University of Minnesota Moore. Hi, my name is Timmy Pignato, and this is Andy. I'm from Lombard, Illinois, just recently graduated from Carthage College with a degree in environmental science. Hi, my name is Rayla Wadaha, and I'm from Belfont, Pennsylvania. I graduated Juniata College with a degree in wildlife conservation. I am currently a wildlife monitoring tech for NIU, and for this week and the next couple weeks, I get to work with the turtle team tracking blending turtles. Hi, I'm Lena. I'm one of the turtle technicians this year. I'm originally from Wisconsin. I graduated from UW-Madison in May with a degree in wildlife ecology. Hi, my name is Gabby. I'm from Glenview, Illinois, and I studied wildlife biology at the University of Minnesota. Currently, I'm a wildlife monitoring tech for NIU, but for the next few weeks, I get to work on the Planning's Turtle Project with the turtle team, which I'm really excited about. Hi, I'm Gary Glowacki. I'm a wildlife ecologist with the Lake County Forest Preserve District. Um, I attended school for my undergraduate at Valparaiso University in, in Indiana, and then I went on to graduate school at Purdue University. And I chose this job because um, as a wildlife ecologist for the Lake County Forest Preserve District, I really get to work on a lot of uh, uh, projects I find personally rewarding. And uh, one of the most rewarding projects I get to work on is overseeing the uh, Blanding Turtle Conservation Program. So um, this is where I get to see all the hard work that all of our technicians do, the raising of these cute baby turtles and then ultimately releasing them and then finding out that they survived out in the wild. I chose this job because I obviously love turtles, but also I love all the other critters we run into um, and the cool plants and all the other unexpected things that happen on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, it's my second year here working in Lake County as a Blanding's turtle technician. I chose this job because I've always had a love for nature, specifically aquatic ecology, whether it was walking around the ponds when I was a kid with my best friend or going out fishing with my father. Um, it's just influenced me in a way that I can't explain other than I, I love turtles. Um, being able to work with them and see the Blandings grow from you know young juvenile hatchlings and then getting to release them the following year as head starts, it's just incredible work and so rewarding to see it come full circle. And all the work is just so much fun. And I decided to become a turtle tech uh, because I previously have worked with turtles and I really enjoyed that and I wanted to get a chance to work with Blanding's Turtles um, and I really liked the grad student who hired me. So I applied to work on the Blanding's Turtle Project uh, primarily because I'm passionate about conservation and I think that all wildlife are intrinsically valuable so I don't want to see any species going extinct uh, just because humanity is uh, so concerned about shaping our world to um, conform to our wants and our needs that we forget about uh, all the other species that we share this world with. About my favorite part so far has been learning new skills like radio telemetry to track our turtles. Uh, and my favorite part of the job so far, um, I've only done it for about a week, is probably just uh, being out in nature in general and uh, getting a chance to actually work with the turtle. My favorite part about the job is probably trapping. Um, you never know what you're going to get in a trap. I mean, it could be a blanding turtle, it could be a painted turtle, it could be a snapping turtle. Um, you just never know and it's always exciting and rewarding when you get a turtle in your trap. Uh, my favorite part of the job so far has been working with species that I've never worked before with, including Blandings, uh, Tiger Salamanders, and Fox Snakes. So my favorite part of the job so far has been uh, just being outside and exploring the wetland just because you never really know what you're going to find out there. Uh, my favorite turtle is my first hand capture ever, a uh, delightful turtle by the name of Toes. And my favorite turtle so far is probably uh, Ginsberg, who I named uh, just today, but we'll see.
And my favorite turtle so far was Taylor because she was the first turtle that I got to track on my own. Um, my favorite turtle has to be um, one of the telemetry turtles from last year. Her name was Maine, short for Chow Maine because she had a special notch code around her scutes that said C-H-O-W. So um, my least favorite turtle, I would have to say Lincoln. So my least favorite turtle uh, has got to be either Lincoln or Summer, uh, mostly because when you're tracking them, they are bound to be in some of the most inconvenient places to get to. Uh, on the other hand, my favorite turtle has got to be Shandy. Uh, usually you can just walk right up to her. Uh, she's super easy to get to and usually um, she's pretty consistent about being in the same place from week to week. My favorite turtle so far would be Virginia because she was the very first turtle I tracked. If I had to pick a favorite turtle, it would probably be Viola. Not only is she one of the turtles we've been tracking for the longest, um, but she's also one of our largest females who's produced the most eggs. Um, so we we'd like to keep tabs on her and see where she goes and uh, how she does. And then for my least favorite turtle, that would probably go to Shelly. Not only the, the original Shelly, so the adult female who we've been tracking for a while, um, not only is Shelly one of the most common names from our Adaptive Turtle program, and there's about, I think, four different versions of Shelly, um, but Shelly likes to hang out in the nastiest, messiest pond, um, and every time we put a transmitter on, she seems to, to drop it. So, um, um, not a huge fan of Shelly, but she is a Blanding's turtle, and we still love her, but uh, um, definitely prefer tracking Viola and keeping tabs on her over Shelly. All right, hi everybody. Um, so you have heard a lot from Sam and I over the past couple weeks, but we wanted to kind of do a little bit of an intro. We wanted to introduce you to our entire team because we have an awesome group of people that we get to work with this summer. Um, so we had them all answer some questions, so we're gonna answer those questions for you guys as well. Um, so I'm Kirsten, obviously. I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Um, I went to undergrad at Purdue University and now I go to Illinois for vet school. Um, the reason I decided to join this project, so I had the opportunity to work this same position last summer where I got to work with the Blanding's Turtles and do the health assessments and, um, and I really enjoyed being a part of the project just because I first of all love the turtles and second of all love being able to um, impact a species that's endangered and help with their conservation. Um, the next question was, ooh, favorite turtle? Mm -hmm. Favorite so, and least favorite. Oh, my favorite turtle, oh man, that's hard. Favorite turtle, I think it uh, has to be Esther. She was the first turtle I tracked last year and then the first turtle I tracked again this year. So, um, I don't know, she's just cool. She has a really cool personality and I like her smile. <laughs> That's a real thing, I am, oh God. Anyway, she's cool. And I think my least favorite turtle is like undoubtedly Lincoln because he literally is always in these really tall cattails and this water that's like up to here and they've almost flooded my waders every single time. I have to get him and it's very frustrating, so. So obviously you guys know I'm Sam, um, I'm from New Jersey originally, and then I went to school in Pennsylvania. I went to Delaware Valley University and graduated with a bachelor's in zoo science. And then obviously I go to University of Illinois now. So how I got to work with the Volandings, Kirsten is my vet school big. So she told me about the project originally, and I just had a really big interest in the epidemiology lab. So I essentially stalked Dr. Allender for like <laughs> months <laughs> until he decided that he thought Blandings was a really good fit for me and he thought I would work well with the project. So my favorite turtle so far is probably Ripley because, I don't know, I just liked tracking Ripley because I'm really bad at tracking and I was able to actually get her. And she's also just adorable and <laughs> really cute. Yeah, it was funny, Sam, I picked her up and she was like very annoyed because she'd been swimming and she goes, oh. Oh, oh. Yeah. It, was, it, was, it was a wholesome moment. She was swimming around, but then she's like adorable. I don't know. It was. <laughs> but my least favorite turtle would have to be a non telemeter turtle named Cooley because his notches are impossible to read because he has real notches and natural notches, and the entire alphabet is notched on his carapace. It's true. And you have no idea who he is when you pick him up, but it's always him copulating with a female. So, <laughs> yeah. That's just what happens. So we just wanted to say a huge thank you to all the turtle technicians, the wildlife monitoring technicians, both Gary and Callie who work really hard to keep this project the best it can be because honestly without them we wouldn't be able to do any of what we do.
yeah, it's awesome to work with all of them. They're just a really great group of people who are all very excited about conservation and turtles specifically. So uh, we always love going out with them and we we're very fortunate to get to be a part of this project. So thanks guys. Go Blandings. Bye. <laughs>